hello, hello. My name is Troy White, um, portfolio manager and financial educator with Hoodoo Financial. And I just uh, wanted to review uh, the uh, PDF that uh, we created that uh, identifies the uh, year ending, ending tax planning strategies for individuals. Uh, there are some topics in here that uh, sometimes you just need to hear a voice uh, go over them uh, with you for you and put them in some sort of context. So uh, we'll just let it roll. Uh, I suggest you print this off and uh, read it over for yourself, but uh, let the camera roll while we just kind of go through it and talk. So, um, so uh, number one, uh, keep your old returns handy. Um, good thing about that bec is because you should keep a PDF document of your taxes, uh, your tax filings, because they're going to be, especially if you're a an investor or a person who is seeking to advance in uh, in life, you know, uh, the clients that I work with, if you were one of my clients, then, you know, I'm all about saving and investing. And so we need to uh, utilize uh, your tax, uh, your expenses and uh, that you incur. Uh, we have a thought, a mind towards the uh, tax uh, consequences, and we look forward to receiving a return so that um if you have W-2 income specifically, especially, so that uh, we could utilize that income, uh, that that return, and dot, put it back into your uh, your business or whatever uh, you know the other strategy we had uh, in mind for those funds. So um, and so, oh, that's what I meant. So so that's why you should keep your old returns handy. Because a lot of things are going to come up where you'll need those returns, especially like uh, you just want to, let's say an opportunity pops up, you got the money and everything, and uh, you think your credit is cool, and now they're going to want uh, uh, three years tax returns. And yeah, you got last year, but you're like, oh, shit, man, I don't know where those other two are. That's why you want to be consistent and work with a, uh, uh, some place, some person, some CPA or uh, some, you know, my clients. Uh, there are some of my clients that I work with that I file their taxes as well. And that allows us, um, that's just so, something that we do some sort of like a concierge for our clients, but it also allows um when it's time to uh, prepare for an offer on a property or something, we have them. You know, we can easily put send that to whoever they're working with. They need, they have a broker that needs it. Bam, just call. Hey, I need to send them. Bam, uh, you know, they forget that I send it to them in the email. But it, what happens is that uh, they call me. Now, Oh, can you see in uh, the 2017 tax return? I need to get, the, you know, people going through child support issues, you know. So there's all kind of weird things where you'll need your old uh, tax returns. So number two, uh, take advantage of tax shelters. And, you know, what What I would say on that is there are really no more fine, no more tax shelters and but yet there are and so you know there are it depends on what you're calling a tax shelter and so but there are a lot of places that allow us to put money if you if you had a lot of money uh the more money you have the more of a potential goal is to remove those dollars from you as the person as income by putting it somewhere else in a tax, a different tax limbo. So tax deferred status or, you know, something like that. 
And so there are certain investment products that have those, you know, investing in uh, muni bonds or something like that gives it uh, gives your your returns tax to uh, tax free status. You know, I'm getting into the minutia, and, I, and, and so you say, hey, let's look up the facts. Oh, no, it gives you this, that, you know, we, uh, of course, we, we just giving you the gist of what's happening. And so there are certain investments that will tie to your, in, in your tax considerations of your investment strategy. And so that is important. And... Uh, if you have some, some, you'll be surprised at some off the wall tax things people got going on. So, you know, sometimes, it's, you know, it's a timing thing, you know, maybe so some people have a fear of getting their money taken. And maybe, for instance, men who, uh, who have um, child support issues, the money get took out the bank. Well, where can you put it? You can put it in a retirement account haven't invested it because it's not going to get to, can't get to, they can't, can't garnish your return. Now you can give me some textbook caveat. There's a, something called, uh, the, uh, DC, uh, well, basically I'm forgetting the, the symptoms, the acronym, the Q, Q, Q drug. Qualified Retirement Distribution Order, which allows the wife to attach <clears throat> a portion of the retirement assets from the, you know, if they got a, a IRA or 401k or something like that. So, um, you know, yeah, it's, 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 that's, it's, but that basic thing, oh, my baby mama, you know, got them on me. Well, if you invested in your retirement account, think about this. Let's say you make $50,000 a year. And you say, man, I don't make enough for my, uh, for my baby mama to take money from me or whoever, wherever they, whoever is taking your money, you know, chasing after your bank accounts. Well, you can invest, you know, up to seven thousand <clears throat> in an IRA, like nineteen thousand in a four hundred one k. That's uh, that's uh, you know, that's over twenty five thousand dollars. So. Are you saving twenty five? Did you have twenty five thousand dollars sitting in there of idle funds? Why do you have idle funds sitting around? See, because I'm think I'm, I'm going into the financial planning issues that that are related to these topics, and I'm not even smashing through the list fast enough. Take advantage of tax shelters, uh, retirement accounts. I'm just talking about that right now. You know, for tax purposes, the when you invest in uh, the retirement accounts, certain uh, 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 tax deferred retirement accounts. In those accounts, they basically reduce your taxable income because it, the amount that you move over into your investments, the government considers you didn't even earn that yet. They're not even going to talk to you about that until you get to retirement and remember why we're also planning such that at retirement your earned income will be lower so that your tax bracket will be lower so as we're doing the buildup of the assets at <clears throat> at a retirement we can do a repositioning of the assets we you and your lawyer do um, a repositioning in the proper uh, estate planning uh, methods to reduce your taxable income as one of the ultimate goals, you know, and that's why you do it because then remember you hiding away, you you're scared about the taxes now. Once you pass away, 
how will you feel about it when the government takes all of it in probate or at least most of it or enough of it to destroy any remnants of you they just may get some cash settlement of the remainder of value after uh, you know your stuff is rummaged through and thrown away and thrown out and, you know property sold and the blood sweat and tears and of what you put together is uh is easily evaporates because you didn't do the planning for your exit strategy. Yeah, you know, so I'm just bringing up some of these uh, issues um, as we scroll through. Uh, we're talking about 529s on the farm. Uh, uh, collect credits, oh, uh, tax credits. Uh, you know, you can receive uh, incentives on a variety of things such as uh, chicken pan, education expenses, making environmentally friendly home improvements, right? So basically tax credits, where tax credits exist, we always wanna explore, did you do something that qualifies for a tax credit? So that's why it's important to, uh, you know, for you won't know that until somebody tells you that that you know you go to uh, some of these places that don't uh, uh, don't give you this information because it's too time consuming and they're not paid enough that's why we're doing it now we're giving it to you in the class some of these uh, things you've got to consider is uh, uh, we're going to send you a checklist because there are a lot of things that you may not think about that have tax consequences to them and um, we're thinking, we're always thinking from the good standpoint of tax consequences. Um, you know, there's, there's, so don't fear the tax code. We're working, um, we have to itemize our expenses, unless you're not even itemizing your deductions. In other words, if that could be a, a, a closed case, you know, um, we're just going to file the return. But if you are, have multiple things going on, you have multiple properties, you have some properties, you have um, businesses, side hustles, you know, et cetera, which um, exceed that, which, where your expenses exceed the threshold for the standard deduction, then we need to itemize your deductions and try to get the most return we possibly can. And, and and even if we're not this year, we want to talk about doing it next year because we want to, if if a uh, business startup is one of your goals, we want to incur the proper expenses for the upcoming tax season. The proper expenses that are going to help your business that you otherwise would not have, uh, you wouldn't even have made the purchase if it wasn't for um the uh, tax benefit. So collect extra credits, uh, you know, uh, keep yourself apprised of possible credits, uh, you know, and that's it. You know, it's just, uh, I want you to look over these uh, issues, but um, it's, you know, all of the, the topics that we touch on in this, uh, in these lessons are meant to get your mind to thinking are there things out there that you're doing and or that you even could do for the next tax season <clears throat> that um can advance you in your financial planning goals and advance you in your career goals advance you in your life goals because they do have tax implications and how can we take advantage of some of the things you've already done take advantage of that now from a tax standpoint on your current uh, tax return, as well as going forward, how do we chart a path to achieve your success in um, education, uh, career, investments, uh, and have the tax cons considerations as we set up a method to do just that those thing investments and uh and the uh, life goals achieving those things so these are uh, all planning issues so 
If you have uh, interest in working with us, uh, please visit our website, www.hoodoofinancial.com. Uh, you can uh, email me at twhite at hoodoofinancial.com and uh, visit our uh, webs, our YouTube channel. You may be watching this there, uh, Hoodoo Financial. Visit our course, our courses that we have available to the public at uh, Hoodoo Educators, and uh, actually it's Hoodoo Dash Educators. <coughs> Just Google that. And uh, what other thing we got? I won't bore you. Thanks for listening. Talk to you soon.